Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it seems that Rings of Power stars, actors are still repeating this false narrative about review bombing when they were talking to the media at the Emmys because the Emmys are on today and everyone's out and about and talking to media and the Rings of Power stars. So we've got Cynthia Adai Robinson here and we've got Ishmael Cruz Cordova who plays a Rondir who is an elf that doesn't exist in Tolkien's works, but I say that and I get called a racist. This is what they have been saying today at the Emmys. Cynthia Adar Robinson, as I've covered before, is playing Tarmiriel, the queen, who technically was usurped before she became queen, and was described as this right here, fairer than silver or ivory or pearls. Now, in my previous video, I, I broke down why the English of that actually makes sense in what Tolkien was writing. Here's what she had to say in this video about the trolls and review bombing. You know, to be honest, I think we as a cast are are quite a fellowship. So I know that that sort of happens in our story, but what's been really beautiful. Interesting to see that she used that word fellowship, uh, fellowship of the ring. You know, it's a callback to Lord of the Rings. They're just trying to play onto the words of Lord of the Rings just to get people to watch this. I don't really try to pay attention to sort of the toxicity of the situation. There we go, another buzzword. Toxicity, toxic fandom, all this sh All that we're saying is, hey, your character is described differently or these characters that aren't even in the books, aren't even in the books that it's supposed to be written on because it's based on the appendices, the appendices of Tolkien. That's what they have the rights to, but they're not using the characters as they're described or they're introducing their own characters. That's what people are saying and why they are rejecting this series. It's not got to do with toxicity. That's just a buzzword to use as a shield to cover themselves from the criticism. And it's ridiculous. We have a very passionate fan base. And, you know, we're still in the early stages of the, the show being out. So people get to see what else we have in store and fall in love with these characters and hopefully fall in love with us as a cast. But I know I love my castmates and, and I'm just really proud to be be amongst them. Yeah, this has got nothing to do with what we're saying with the cast and the crew. It's, it's got to do with the characters that Amazon has put in. It's a perfect shield to say you're being racist against the actors who have been brought in. It's about, hey, this is what Tolkien wrote. This is what the characters you have brought in to make a political agenda for this show. And when people criticize you for it, they say, oh, toxic, racist, whatever, Eastern phobe, you, you're all this and all that. You're every single name under the son that we can call you to discredit you. Even though the people who are saying, hey, this isn't right because the character that she is described as is completely different in the book. But that's only the first one. And then Ishmael Cruz Cordova went on talking to Deadline Hollywood and he had this to say. I knew that this was gonna happen. I, I would say it and I mean, I even got a few rejections to the role and I still kept going for it because I knew that there was going to be disruption. And in my career, my mission has been that, occupy these places, put myself in that. So he said he knew this was going to happen. So he either knew the source material coming in and he knew his character doesn't, doesn't even exist in the books. So people were going to have a, a reaction to that, saying, hey, your character doesn't exist. Why are you in this series? So he's saying he knew that was going to happen. And he got rejected, he's saying, for this role a few times. So he kept going for it, get, kept going for it, because he's using the terms that all these leftists want to use. We need to occupy the spaces. We need to take over the spaces, white spaces or all this shit. So he's using the playbook for the left. We need to occupy the spaces. We we knew this was going to happen. We we're going to have backlash because we're not the right skin color. I'm like, Amazon bought the rights to about, technically, they bought the rights to 150 pages of the appendices of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, but The Hobbit has nothing to do with First and Second Age. So if you look at actually what is in the appendices, what Amazon has the rights to, it references First and Second Age, maybe about 20 pages. So Amazon has 20 pages of lore to use for five seasons. You know they don't have the characters to use. You just know they don't. So when they come out and say, when we need to occupy the spaces, we need to create characters that had never existed in the books because you know they don't have the rights to the first and second age and the rights that they do have in the appendices is next to absolutely nothing. 20 pages of reference. But let's go on. Be the image of the thing. I have no problem doing that. So I did expect this. Does it hurt? Of course it does. It's an energy, it's toxic, it's a poisonous, it carries no logic. It's toxic, it's poisonous, and it carries no logic. Buzzword, buzzword, bullshit. How can you say it carries no logic when I can pick up the book right here that Amazon has the rights to? I'm not even going on the first and second age with the Silmarillion. I'm not even going there. Just looking at the appendices, of the Lord of the Rings, which they have the rights to, Amazon has the rights to, you go through the first five pages 
our first age and second age. Then there are a few timelines of uh, the heirs of Isildur, the lions of men and kings, but you don't really see much more first and second age. There's only a couple of references here and there on different pages. All in all, it's about 20 pages of references. So Amazon, you know that you don't have the rights to this and now you're pushing these actors out to deflect from the criticism and claim racism, racism, toxicity, and the fandom is hateful and bigoted and all this. Uh, but the claim there's no logic behind it is oxymoron. It's illogical because the book doesn't say your character exists. And Amazon has put these characters in to use for a political agenda. And we know they're doing it because of listen to the rhetoric that these actors are saying. Toxic, poisonous, carries no logic, review bombing. Like there's so many shields they're trying to use to cover themselves from any criticism because the show's terrible. And it really doesn't have anything to do with Tolkien's work at all. And people are pouring their hearts into my DMs. I can't reply to all of them, but they're like, we heard that people are being mean. We heard that they're doing this. We're going to flood your, your, your DMs with love. And they have. And I want everyone to know that I read them. I try to read all of them but that's what matters to me there's no longer gonna be a moment where there wasn't an elf of color that chapter is closed baby there's no longer gonna be a moment where there wasn't an elf of color and there's the key point that they can say if you disagree with what he's saying or if you look at the text and the source material you're the racist you're the beat, you're the hateful one. Because disregard what the book says and what the creator actually said, because this guy right here said, just like Shang-Chi, there's another triumph. We have the first elf of color that has nothing to do with the book that it was based on, nothing to do with it. So after you hear that, you listen to him say, oh, people have been flooding my DMs saying, I've heard you me getting hateful messages. These are the kind of people who, this is the person who responded to me, who they want to clutch their pearls like Ripper says, got to clutch the pearls and play semantics without addressing actually what I just said. So I said, he says it carries no logic, but I've just described how it's logical because the book does not describe his character. So then you get reply guys that want to just disregard anything you've said and want to make up some absolute nonsense just to make some semantic comparison between Peter Jackson's trilogy. It's like, okay, well, th that's been done many times. So they say, does it matter? The movie's made up tons of things, not in the books. I bet you still like those, don't you? Looks like we got another racist. Yeah, masking his racism. Because I say the book does not describe this, here's their perfect cover to say you're an ist, you're a phobe, you're a whatever. But that is ridiculous semantics because just by saying, hey, Peter Jackson changed things, does not give Amazon the right to change every single thing that Tolkien wrote, but that's what they're doing. These people have no idea probably about the book that is sitting in front of me as well and the, the appendices that Amazon has the rights to, which is about, as I said, 20 pages that Amazon has for five seasons to use for law. 20 pages. So you know they're not using it based on the book and everything that is being said is used as a cover, as a shield for racism and for the criticism of the show that these characters don't exist or they're described not how they are in the book or that they have hardly anything to go off Amazon on Tolkien's works. And I'm sick of this sh I'm sick of companies going out of their way to take a franchise, tank a franchise, and when it does tank, because we're seeing, look, the numbers here, 1.9 million dislikes, 6.9 rating on IMDb, which has uh, been helped a bit by the last couple weeks when they did that review bombing embargo. And we're also seeing, that's been unlocked at 39 and 84 for what, two weeks now? But Metacritic's, I think, the closest one. So 2.9 on the Metacritic score. So we're seeing a backlash to this and a response to this that is the fans are saying, hey, we don't like this. We don't like what you're doing with the show. It's got nothing to do with Tolkien. And honestly, we hate that you're taking these actors and putting them front and center to shield the Amazon from criticism behind racism and toxicity and toxic fandom and all this. This isn't what he wrote. And I'm sick of seeing these works that have been written almost a hundred years ago being taken over by companies that don't give a shit about them and used for a political agenda. Anyway, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this video out there, and I'll see you in the next one.